So as an old player making a return to the game for the Final Shape DLC, I've been asked to make a series of videos for fellow players who are in the same boat as me, who are returning to this game for Destiny 2 and its next DLC, The Final Shape. Now there are a lot of videos out there who go through the best roles for certain items, this, that and the other, but this week guys, and I think until the final shape comes, you have a unique opportunity to earn even more loot. Today guys, we go through the very best onslaught weapons and weapon roles for both PvE and PvP. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, Hitting that thumbs up button really does help me out and if you like what you see and want to see more, make sure you subscribe and switch those notifications on. So I'm an old player making a return, but I've been asked to make a series of videos for fellow players just like me on what they should be getting in prep for the final shape. This week forward we have a unique opportunity with Onslaught as it's now dropping double loot. This means you will not only earn twice as many trophies and twice as many weapons, those onslaught weapons, but you will also earn a ton of engrams at the same time which you can cash in to drop other weapons outside of onslaught. But with onslaught being an activity which rewards you many many weapons itself, it actually makes sense to actually get the best uh, of what you can get before the final shape arrives. So in this video I will bring you the best of the best rules for every weapon onslaught offers for both PvE and PvP. So if you're looking for a certain weapon, if you're not sure on the best weapon rules, if you need a certain weapon for a certain instance, this video should help you out. Now obviously opinions do differ and this is just my opinion, I have been away from the game for a long long while. So if you do think there is a certain role I don't mention today, do let everybody else know down below within the comments section. But first things first, head over to the Hall of Champions and focus into the weapon you want to see drop most from Onslaught and said chest where you cash in those trophies. Also what I will say is, the fastest way to farm weapons and Onslaught loot is in a team of 3 running the legend version up to around 10, killing the first boss and resetting and repeating this process. If you don't have a fire team and find the legend too hard, standard play where matchmaking is enabled will still earn you tons and tons of loot. Anyway, okay so let's get into these roles and what you should be chasing for both PvE and PvP. And we'll start with the recluse. Okay so we'll start with what in my opinion is the best PvP roles you should be looking for. First things first, the barrel, you want to have small bore or corkscrew here. Then you want to definitely have a ricochet rounds. Then guys what you want is dynamic sway reduction uh, and then you want tap the trigger, master of arms or target lock here. This will be a great great weapon for that PvP. Now onto PvE here, I'd again go with small ball coke, screw ricochet rounds, but then I'd probably look for something like subsistence and master of arms, this is kind of great, but if you're on a void build, and this is the particular one I'm looking for, I'm chasing right now, try and get repulsive brace and destabilizing rounds, this wouldn't be a miss whatsoever, two great great perks which would definitely benefit you if you are on that void build. So yeah, keep an eye out for that one. Next up guys, we have the Hong Jury, the Scout Rifle. PvP, Hammerforge or Corkscrew, Accurized Rounds. Then you want to have Rapid Hit or No Distractions with Box Breathing or Explosive Payload. Uh, rapid Hit and Box Breathing is quite decent too. I mean, Rapid Hit and Explosive Payload is also great. But yeah, any of these guys, keep an eye out for them and definitely don't get rude. Next up, we have PvE. Barrels stay the same, again you want flared up accurized and then I'd probably look for rewind rounds or kinetic tremors with either firefly, precision instrument or explosive payload. Kinetic tremors and explosive payload, kinetic tremors or firefly, that is a great great combination, I actually have this myself, used it quite a lot and I love it. Okay so we're going to move on to the Alces rifle, PvP. I'll go here, barrels, small ball or corkscrew, then I'll go ricochet rounds, then I'd want zen moment or keep away with either head seeker, kill clip or frenzy, perfect for me here would be keep away head seeker, but hey it differs for each person. PVE, 
small bore corkscrew ricochet rounds then you want to go with repulsor brace or rewind rounds with destabilizing rounds or adrenaline junkie i'm not going to say i'm the greatest fan uh, for alsa's rifle and pve but hey some of you may be okay so next up guys we have the succession sniper okay so pvp barrels you want either fluid barrel or corkscrew then you want either tactical mag or accurized rounds and then you want either moving target or no distractions with snapshot sights i can't say i'm the best sniper in pvp in this game i can't say i've sniped in absolutely ages so if you do know of a better role let us know down below for pve i'd probably go the same barrels with tactical mag again or accurized rounds and then you want either reconstruction with recombination or warp or weapon or a good one would be discord or redirection both great great roles here okay so moving on to the blast furnace so pvp barrel here you want either small bore or corkscrew then you want either accurized rounds or steady rounds for that stability and then you want guys which is the one i'm chasing keep away and rapid hit this thing is absolutely brutal but again you can have head seeker and kill clip on the same pools too so that wouldn't be a miss either pve i'd go small bore or corkscrew again I then go accurized rounds and then you want kinetic tremors with either one for all firefly or frenzy evil would be great people okay so next up we have the lunar's howl okay so for pvp here you want hammerforge rifling you then want ricochet rounds then guys in my opinion you want eye of the storm I pair this with either precision instrument open and shut magnificent howl or kill clip now in my opinion here magnificent howl and precision instrument are the two most popular i ever seen pvp but i'm guessing opening shot and kill clip wouldn't be a bad role either so onto pve here again hammerforge ricochet rounds now it varies here because there's quite a few uh, reasons why hand cannons can be quite popular and potent within pve but heal clip is a great perk to have here but my favorites are pairing subsistence and incandescent on a solar subclass that's great or subsistence and magnificent howl great but if that subsistence dropped uh, with heal clip in its place i wouldn't be mad either a great great perk there Okay, so moving on, we have the Midnight Coup. Now, PvP, I go here, small ball, accurized rounds, and then I go with explosive payload or moving target, along with Zen Moment or opening shot. The Midnight Q isn't the most popular hand cannon in PvP. I barely seen it being used. I saw it a couple of times, and these are normally the roles I see people using. Okay, so PvE here, I'd definitely go with again small bore and accurized rounds. And then I'd probably take explosive payload or firefly along with frenzy or rampage. Now firefly and all for one work together amazingly good. And then we have explosive payload with firefly or kinetic tremors. Again, great, great roles. There's so many you can have in this kinetic hand cannon, which adds amazingly to your build. So you have plenty of roles here for you to chase. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Hammerhead. Uh, this is the heavy machine gun. So PvP here, Hammer Forge Rifling, Extended Barrel or Small Bore here, along with either High Caliber Rounds or Ricochet Rounds. Then you want Under Over, in my opinion, paired with either Killing Tally or Tap the Trigger. This is the perfect and best PvP role you should be looking for. PvE, again, Hammer Forge, Extended Barrel or Small Bore in the barrel slot then i'll go with high caliber rounds or ricochet rounds again and here guys i'd probably check out something like rampage and envious assassin for massive damage output and tons of bullets but again rewind rounds and onslaught is also a great one you shouldn't be turning your nose up at okay so the next four weapons for me are pve strict i mean i don't see anyone using these in pvp because it's just better variants in every option Okay, so first up we have the Falling Guillotine, the Sword, PvE role, remember. So first up you want Jagged Edge, no doubt, then you want Sword Master's Guard, and then guys, there's a few options you can have here. Relentless Strikes, Chain Reaction, or Repulsive Brace, depending on what you want, paired with Surrounded, Whirlwind Blade, Destabilizing Rounds, or Bait and Switch. There's plenty of DPS options right here. But any role pairing these two are definitely keep for the final shape because you never know what Bungie you're going to do. You never know what they're going to change, but these pairings are definitely some of the best. 
But if you want something for boss damage, I'd definitely go with Frenzy and Whirlwind Blade or Frenzy and Surrounded. This would be absolutely great. Okay, so next up, guys, we're going to move on to the Edge Transit. PvE again, remember, you want Volatile Launch. You then want Spike Grenades. Then you want Chain Reaction and Destabilizing Rounds. This is great for Ad Clear. But if you want DPS, guys, Envious Assassin, Cascade Point, or Auto Loading Holster, paired with Bait and Switch. Bait and Switch is unreal. I'd probably go with Envious Assassin, Bait and Switch for the best, or even Auto Loading and Bait and Switch for the best roll you can get for that pve and dps okay so next up guys we have the forbearance now this is a great great grenade launcher many people are overlooking again pve you want quicker launch paired with high velocity rounds then guys you want demolitionist and wellspring this for ag clearing is absolutely unreal because it allows you to get your engine back in otter on real time now another role you can look out for is unrelenting for the health regen or envious assassin to overflow the magazine paired with that chain reaction these are great great perks and roles for the forbearance for pve okay so lastly guys we have the mountain top now the best pve role i think you can get or the best couple of roles you can get you start off with hard launch or quick launch either or then you want implosion rounds and then guys you want ambitious assassin this is great uh, paired with a uh, rampage frenzy or for one or adrenaline junkie these are absolutely unreal these perks paired together but then guys i definitely check out auto loading holster paired with recombination this is probably the most popular i have seen and also a great pve role and there we have it guys these are the best roles you can get from the onslaught weapons do your best to farm these guys while it's double loot i'm not sure if it lasts up to the final shape i was told it was i definitely know it lasts to at least weekly reset so you have some time to get these uh, at a better rate but either or if it isn't double loot you can still farm these within the onslaught and still get the best roles possible and there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more destiny be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one we all on youtube every damn day watching these vids of the brand new games bid after bid many are the same that's why you gotta go and find dpj destiny gameplays weekly snipes heavy uploads gonna have you a hype started in the uk now he's worldwide dpj go and subscribe